And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Uh, so last time we got the gang together, uh, plus this guy Kyle, who is very drunk at the moment. But um, yeah, so we are going to be uh, heading off to... Uh, Dave Inspire, yes. I don't think there's anything else that we can do here. Let me just prove that this box is locked and we cannot open it, but we will be able to do that very soon. Dude, please get out of the way. Um, so Damon spires to the south, right? Damon, guardian of knowledge. I bet he's gonna have a library, uh, library rivaling even that of Vane's. Hydration has been achieved. I will do the stretch and posture once we're in a battle. I guess I could do the posture now. <clears throat> Yeah. As much as I can in here. Get the yellow side, and then we'll be back in business. Oi! I am out of shape. Mia's not though. She has leveled up, and her range has increased. I am a shape. I'm going to guess the, the line that comes after that is round as a shape, right? Not to put words in your mouth, but I feel like that's where that's going. I'm a box. <laughs> I mean, at, at least zero as far as, as far as I know. You're still doing, um, you're still doing the, uh, the ring fit thing. Meanwhile, I'm still sitting here with a switch with, um, uh, with a faulty battery that I can't use. I put something else in you. I'm sorry, what, Jewel? Turned it down to only twice a week, but like the fact that you're still doing it is still a good thing. Like even if you're toning it down to twice a week, you're still doing it. If Ring Fit you should play it, you should play it. Like everyone should play it. And it's, it, on one hand, it's kind of a dumb little exercise thing, but on the other hand, it's an exercise thing, and it kind of actually works for some people. You know, like straight exercise, but an exercise game gets me. That's how I feel too, though. Like, if, like, with straight exercise, maybe if I was, like, doing that with someone? Um, it wouldn't be so bad, but like if I'm doing it on my own, I, I am, there is a 0% chance I'm going to stick to it.
with a treadmill or an exercise bike all day. I mean, those are good too. I don't know if I'd really be able to, to get away with a treadmill in here because like aside from there not really being any room for it, um, those actually make a surprising amount of noise. And the exercise bike, I also don't have any room, but I don't think it uh, does as much noise. <laughs> DDR stream one 20 years ago. I mean, Zero and J-Pop, you had that stream at, I don't think it was DDR, but like that other dance one. We have a house at the base, and you have this base. Well, there you go. Pump it up a diagonal DDR. Such a weird, uh, a weird twist to it. Specifically, a 45 degree twist. Yeah, legs can't endure as much anymore. J Pop's exercise hour. There's only one way this goes down. Thank you. This goes down when you go down, which is to say in 10 minutes from now. I'm teasing though. <laughs> Face down on the pad. Alright, thanks for dropping by, Jewel. You have a good night. And I already miss Luna not being in the party with her little battle shimmy that she did. I know I keep pointing that out, but it's so cute. Well, we're definitely getting attacked by both of those. Like, not even if I start to move in the other direction will I be able to escape that. Ah, getting old sucks. Also getting poisoned also sucks. Alright, Jessica, heal up your boyfriend before he dies. Oh, geez. Actually, you might want to heal him up too. Nope, he's dead. He's super dead. And there goes Kyle too. This is this is not going well. A bit late on that calm with me, but at least, like, everyone else could not die. Kill a buzz. Yeah, uh, definitely a buzz kill. Um, I don't want to save my super, actually, but uh, I'm definitely use some hard hitting attacks here. Uh, you can do whatever. And you will do... Flame Circle should be able to hit everyone. Kill all the enemies before their timer runs. I, we're not playing Final Fantasy Tactics here. It's your game.
At least there are only two dudes here. There we go, now you get to heal your boyfriend. Sari happened to fall into a group full of idiots and Delita. What role would they end up being? Yeah, the the idea that I had at least was that she would be the dancer. The, the main reason that I'm bringing it up is because um, mainly I want to add kind of a ripple to the story of my Final Fantasy XIV character. <laughs> because Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy Tactics happen on the same world in different ages. Help figure what donuts should be. Worthless? That's your sister. Now let me heal things up here. Um, I would need the I would need the the class chart for Final Fantasy XIV because there are a lot of classes. Of what the team I need to round out to besides dancer and mine, yeah, pretty much. If she insists on being dancer, that's fine. Just with the character that Sari is, she would fit in a lot better as a dancer. That was, you'll have two answers. Um, what subclass? You know, I, I might bring up a class chart on, uh, like, when I get into my next fight here. Just so I can see my options in front of me. I don't like this uh, this layout. Last time we got this layout, it kind of destroyed us. Let's just have Alex do Zephyr Blade and everyone else can just do whatever because Zephyr Blade is going to annihilate everything. Okay, job tree, here we go. Looking at the options, and I think as a subclass, uh, Time Mage.
Must build character correctly from the start. Must have full Excel spreadsheet complete and a 14 page PowerPoint displaying why it's the best party composition. Wow, ah, well, Wargirly. I remember the last time that I was playing Final Fantasy Tactics, so it was the, the PlayStation Portable version. Um, and I was in the deep dungeon trying to work toward getting everyone maxed out on everything. Unfortunately, I kind of derailed from that, but uh, I got a lot of progress done actually. I do not like this enemy design at all. This, these Chrono Gorgons. Someone needs to become a Gorgon donor. I don't know what that means. It's just a thing that I said because it sounded clever. Good battle music, what can I say? Kaya levels up. Finally passed one screen of this two screen area. Eh. Can we escape? No, we cannot. Let's see if I can remember to be holding down once I uh, get out of this fight. Why are there so many monsters, come to think of it, that have their mouth where their eye is? It's creepy. I can't wait to vomit out my eye socket. I know, right? Just go levels up. Oh dear, what is this? What the? Dad? What are you doing out here? Jessica? Oh dear, Jessica. Please don't leave me here. It's so cool, so lonely. Jessica, look out! What the? What's happening? What have you done to them? Help me, Alvina! Give me the power to break the spell! No, not again! My father, my friends, and Kyle. Lost everyone I ever cared about. Come to me, Jessica. Join me. Join your friends. You will live forever. And you will never be alone. Yes. Kyle? <laughs> no one never asked a daughter, uh, his daughter to join him in death, you monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but I'm going to sever you limb from limb. Burn it on, hag! Apparently we got a duel going on here. 
And let's start with power up. Um, hopefully we won't need to use the super, but, uh... That's a pretty strong fight, yeah. Also, there is, like, this probably fake Mel just running away like a little bitch. I do not understand what Mel's uh, strategy is here. Because like, he was doing things like this during the, uh, the practice battle. Anyway, that fight was completely worthless. You. Bryce! You got way too far this time, you shapely hag. I made the mistake of underestimating you, and I shan't do that again. How's I to know that you could shatter my magic with your spirit alone? And that's what we like to call the power of the human heart, so get used to it. Now how about we get down to a little business? Tempting, but... Perhaps later. Kyle, I... Hey, hey, it was nothing. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Besides, it felt good to beat up your dad. When I saw you... Uh, when, I, when you saw I was in danger, you broke out of the stone and saved me. Your feelings for me were what broke the spell. Um, yeah, yeah. What are you two doing? Come on, let's get moving. Oh, right. Of course. Well, Kyle, shall we get going? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. This strategy was set to make sure the players wins. Make sure the players wins. Um, uh, let's see. So let's uh, let's drop by Reza for a second just to heal up. What are you two doing? Having a moment. Yeah, it's called an emotional, you know, something. Yes, an emotional something. That's exactly what it is. Wait, so where is... There it is, okay. Damon Spire. And save real quick. There we go. Those who seek the Guardian of Knowledge must have a special knowledge first. Uh, special knowledge first? Hey, maybe it's something in the notebook! I believe you're correct now. Wait, give me a moment. Here it is. Intelligence is the ultimate strength, and wisdom is the ultimate power. You possess the cornerstone from which you can become the foundation. You may enter. Step onto the tiles of red to unlock the door and gain entrance. It's basically just a story trigger to make sure that we have the thing that we need to progress.
So apparently we're not the only people here. It's empty. Yeah, probably this dude took it. Maybe you're not looking the correct way. So what, I, what I'm getting from this is, like, the test is to get to the top of Damon's Spire, but no one's actually able to manage to get to the top of Damon's Spire, so they just don't want any new members. Oh my. Naturally, these boxes are also empty. Well, there are the stairs, but uh, I'm not going to be able to get there quite yet. Anything in these bookshelves? No. Knowledge. I seek it. I crave it. Yeah, okay, well. Also, these these guys trying to figure out the first floor. How long did that take us? Like, three minutes? I, Damon, have granted you the privilege to tread within these sacred walls. However, if you if you wish to proceed any further, you must answer my question. What is the source which allowed our world to be created by the hand of Althena? I have a question of my own. What the hell are you talking about, you fruitcake? I was about to ask something like that myself. Shouldn't a brilliant student like you know the answer to this one, Nash? Uh, of course. Of course I do. You don't sound too sure, Nash. Alex, why don't we try why don't we let Mia try to answer this instead? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mia, why don't you try? Good call, Alex. We're counting on you, Mia. My mother spoke to me of this subject long ago. The answer is magic. You are correct. You may enter. That was it? It's like, it's like asking like, what is the country of Japan called? Is the answer Japan? Yep. We would also have accepted Nihon. I knew you'd do it, Mia. And that was just what I would have said. Hmm. Why are you staring at me, cat? How dare you imply that that an elite magician of the magic? Yada yada yada. Why don't you why don't we save the excuses until we've uh, had until we have a chance to explore this place? And dang way up to floor two. Oh, we got some monsters here. Some spinnies. That was a hit for 92. I get the I, I get the the 
the feeling that um, magical attacks are kind of the way to go here for the most part. Of course, the magical attack of clonk the, uh, the enemy on the head when they're weakened can also be pretty effective. That barely did any damage. That didn't do any damage. Thank you. Yeah, I think we want to go mostly for magic attacks here. So, um... I might go a little bit manual here. Uh, is there a one enemy attack? Nope, they're all enemy zone. Uh, you can still do whatever. You can freeze burst on this guy. And you do whatever. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Well, that guy was sufficiently weakened, at least. Mia levels up. And learns Ice Geyser. These boxes should start having things in them, such as a Starlight and another Starlight. Starlight, Starlight, first star I see tonight. I think magic is a little overpowered here. That opened a door somewhere. Probably this one. If I cast Punch, does it count as magic? I don't think so, Zero. In fact, I'm pretty sure that would do zero damage. Ho ho ho! I'm so clever, somebody stop me. <laughs> Discounting on me, Zero, again? How dare. Just like this face. It, it is a good face. There is a reason why I had that emote made. I think whenever I uh, look into getting more emotes made, I might have one of like Luna singing or something. Because I know I know I do tend to kind of sing a lot in streams.
I fe I'm starting to feel like I should probably make a tactic out of this. You know what? Let's let uh, full auto go and see what happens. The Nash being a useless twit. Mia also did not use her magic. All of them attacking Mia is very rude. Okay, so that turn was, uh, not great. Uh, let's do this proper. Uh, you can do whatever. You can flame circle and you attack. I, I don't understand why sometimes the entire enemy attack pattern is like everyone gangs up on the weak one. This is rude. Yeah, so when we get out of battle here, I don't know... Well, like, we're probably not going to use this tactic very much. But, like, I've done the same thing enough times that I feel like it's warranted to, uh, have this as a tactic. Okay, so you're going to attack. You're going to cast a riot. And uh, Jessica, you're going to do whatever. Mia, you're going to cast Flame Circle. And Kai, you're going to attack. Let's test it out. I mean, that was a lot quicker, wasn't it? Especially considering, like, we're setting attacks for everyone, but only Nash actually gets to do something, so I guess he deserves this level up. And also, the fact that he leveled up means that uh, he gets full MP again, so basically a full clip of, an of ammo to keep doing this. Hey. Uh, was there anything the other way? Looks like no. To proceed further, you must demonstrate your mental fortitude by answering my question. People who rely entirely on force shall, be, shall ultimately be destroyed by force. What? We can't use force? Calm down, Kyle. If you had listened for once, you know he didn't say that. Please continue, Dan. <clears throat> but the person who controls force can avoid it altogether. What controls force? What kind of game is this, old man? Even I know the answer to that one. Come on, Alex, let me handle this. I don't think this is a question that Kyle can answer. She's right, Alex. You can't place our fate in the hands of this brain-dead brigand. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Nash, or you might get it cut off. 
Calm down, you two. Alex, this is your call. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Nash for this one. I have to go with Nash. If one desires the right outcome, one must first make the right decision, as the proverb goes. And you, Alex, have made the right decision. Quit babbling and just answer a stinking question. Calm down, barbarian. I can't answer a question if I don't take the time to think about it. If you don't spit out the answer, write the stinking second. Get over yourself and, ask the, and answer the question, Nash. Come on, Nash, hurry up. All right, all right. The answer, Damon, is skill. Skill controls force. You are correct. You may proceed. Well, what do you know? He does know something. Wow, I'm impressed, Nash. Wrong. Get out. Thank you, Mia. But it was... It was... Eh, thank you, Mia. But it really was an easy question. At least for me, anyway. He just got lucky, Magic Boy. And I guarantee it's gonna run out soon. Don't get... Don't be so grumpy, Kyle. Let's just go upstairs. Oh, this is... Definitely not the same type of enemy. Uh, let's go with the standard tactic for this. You know what? I might want to go with tactic 3 after. And of course, Mia's down because everyone keeps picking on her, poor girl. Tactic 4, nap time. You know, now she could have gone with the, um,. The, the attack that would have gotten you two hits, but also magic is not nearly as effective with these guys. Come on, Nal, do your job. But you have one job in this fight, and that's to bring back our, our uh, allies. There we go. But I do kind of like the idea of Alex leveling up. And I also kind of like the idea of like Null brings back your units and also like takes away their status ailments. That kind of gives it like an actual in-world justification to how is everyone coming back after a fight. Ritual Garment, and another fight. This is very reminiscent of uh, when Remus was in the party and uh, there was an enemy that like just ganged up on him. The big difference of course is that Remus is kind of an ass and uh, Mia's a sweet girl. 
He does not deserve this treatment. There we go. That's how that was supposed to go. Another starlight. This is stairway down. Ah, only two of them. This should be substantially easier, right? Man, took four attacks and still staying high. I think I'll be able to just get away with having everyone attack to get this guy down. There we go. All of a sudden try that and everyone dies the end. Oh good, more enemies with eyes where their mouths are. Let's try tactic one and just see what happens, I guess. Like, who came up with these designs? Oh dear, this is something we have to deal with now? Well, at least this one's uh, wasting its attack. Oh, and you can still take damage. There you go. You want to buy him a beer? You want to buy these monstrosities a beer, is what I am understanding. Okay. I mean, you can do you, I guess. Whoever made- oh, whoever made their design. So, I guess the question to ask is what are you putting in the beer? <laughs> Alcohol? In the beer? You monster. <laughs> Put some alcohol in your alcohol. Uh, pimp your ride. Yeah, pimp my ride and can. Uh, I think the French channels have uh, pimp mon char, which is just pimp my ride in French. Because there has to be a French language version of like everything, because Quebec's like that, yeah? You know? Jessica levels up. And Kyle.
Well, that opened the door somewhere. I think it opened this door. Just punch Mia straight in the face. Down she goes. Now, Jessica, you are going to heal Mia, right? Yes. Okay. I'm glad we have this understanding. Stop hitting Mia, she does not deserve this treatment. Holy crap. Why are you doing this to the poor girl? Yes. Feel free to attack Alex, who is much better equipped for, you know, handling physical violence. You always target the healer slash caster. I mean, the enemies don't have to be so good at that. Come to think of it, I got that ritual garment and never equipped it on anyone. Who does it belong to? That belongs to Jessica. Also, you had this key. I must have bought this and never equipped it because holy crap. I am an absolute genius buffoon. Why can we not read any of these books? I am offended. Stop being good at your jobs, enemies. I'm warning you. I'm going to skirt around you if you're going to be like that. Haha! <laughs> Juke! Oh, cutscene. Who's this guy? That man seems to be in a great deal of pain. I wonder if he has a stomachache. I bet he was eating stuff off the ground and got sick. I'm pretty sure you're the only one who does that sort of thing, Kyle. Yeah, who, who else would do something like that in this day and age? Do you have something to say, Alex? What's wrong, Alex? Uh, nothing. Let's leave this sick little conversation behind and get on with things. We better find out what's really wrong with the guy on the floor. Also, he's clearly not on the floor. He's standing on the feet. On, on the feet, yes. Are you feeling ill, sir? Nothing. I'm busy. Go away. Well, excuse us for caring. Oh, don't worry about this guy, Alex. If he says it's okay, he must be okay, right? Besides, there's already a staircase, so let's go. Wait just a minute. You're a, a priestess, aren't you? Well, yes, only a priestess of Goddess Althena is allowed to wear these robes. It's your job to help people in distress, isn't it? 
So, use one of those healing spells I teach you, quick. What are you babbling about? When you when me asked you a second ago, you said it was nothing. That was then and this is now. Let the healing spell fly, sugar. Until I know the cause of your pain, I don't know what kind of magic to use. Please tell us what's wrong. My stomach just started hurting all of a sudden. I swear it's not because I ate that cookie lying on the floor over there. Alright, alright. You ate something off the floor and got a stomachache, right? Ah, by the goddess, this is stupid. What should I do, Alex? Hop this guy out or just get back to finding the next door? I mean, we probably should help him out, despite the fact that he's being a right asshole. This pain seems genuine, Jessica. Please help me. Come on, Alex, this guy's a jerk. And I tend not to want to help anyone who yells at me. Please, Jessica. Alex wouldn't have asked if he didn't think it was the right thing to do. Also, the words please might help. Yeah. Okay, you're right. I should help him regardless of his lack of social skills. Alfina, lend me your power! Your actions were correct. You may proceed. Know that I'm impressed by your performance thus far. I'm not impressed by your last test, Damon. That wasn't fair. Young lady, you're hardly in a position to tell me what I may have helped you out because Alex said to, but I really hate people who abuse someone else's good intentions. I don't want to hear any excuses. If you ever do that again, I'm I'm going to leave you looking like a pile of shredded newspaper, you hear me? I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. Ah, <sighs> I feel much better now that I've got that off my chest. Okay, let's go. Jess, your mood swings are more violent than Hurricane. What'd you say? Nothing, my darling Jessica. Oh, great. Now you're talking like that boatman, too. Knock it off, will ya? All right, then. Let's move along. I like this Jess character, right? She is spunky and kind of hot, too. Uh, got the ice pendant. Got another fight. Oh great, Kyle got stoned again. Kyle, don't don't you have enough with being drunk all the time? You don't need to add this to the mix. Fortunately, it's not as strong of a curse as uh, the Vile Tribe has, so we're able to just dispel this and be on our way. And we get a starlight out of that. Always good to have. A couple more boxes here. Man, they, they really like doing that specifically to Kyle, even when he's already stoned.
and me levels at this time. We get a spirit bandana and a goblin in the face. Yeah, Nash, for being a magic man, you sure don't use your magic all that often. Well, that one just didn't work, so I appreciate that. And here it goes again. And that one didn't work. Alright. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. There we go. It worked that time. It, he, he's already turned to stone. What do you hope to gain from your actions? Get super stoned. Uh, it sounds like you gotta break out the real Kush for that. Ah, uh, wanna get stoned. Push the button, Frank. And this was not a very challenging puzzle. Aha! I'm good at juking sometimes. Not that time, but you know, sometimes I am. Also, it's probably a good sign that, that I'm enjoying myself with this game because I was not paying attention to the time at all and we still have a good chunk of time left, but uh... Starting to get a little low. Get a starlight. Oh no, our way is blocked by Tetris. Can't dodge with all those rocks in your pocket. If you wish to proceed further, you must make a decision. In making your way through the spire, who was the least helpful? I'm sorry, what? You must yield them to me as a prisoner. But no. What the hell are you talking about? None of us are going to be your prisoner, demon. Either you surrender your weakest member or you shall all perish. Did I mention how much I hate your guts, old man? This is a real problem, Alex. How are we going to decide which one, which one of us becomes Damon's prisoner? We can't decide because none of us was the least helpful. We made it this far by working together, Alex. That's true, but I don't think Damon cares. So what are we going to do, Alex? <laughs> Let him have Kyle, or he can't have Kyle. <laughs> Specifically Kyle. Uh, let's see. You can't let him have Kyle. And who? 
Unless we can't let him have Jessica either. Well then, who's, who's it gonna be? Absolutely not Mia. <laughs> Mia's not a good choice. Of course it's not. We'd never do anything like that to her. But who's left? We won't give up Nash. Alex, the only one left is you know. You're the you're the weakest link. Goodbye. Can't I have anyone? This is impossible. None of us none of us were Ah This is impossible. None of us were less important than the other in getting this far. But if we don't pick someone, we can't go to the next floor. I don't care. Just as Mia said before, we all worked as a team to get here. None of us is any less important than the others. Well said, Alex. Well said indeed. If you were not aware of your importance as individuals and as a group, it would be impossible for you to overcome the many obstacles that lie ahead. You may proceed. Am I the only one who noticed how this old fart really enjoys messing with her heads? Yeah, and this old fart is really starting to tick me off. Please calm down, you two. All that matters now is that we can continue to the next floor. Is it just me, or is it unusually peaceful on this floor? I don't feel any nearby magic, but I think Kyle is wise to be suspicious. Maybe the monsters ran away because we heard uh, they because ah, because they heard we were kicking butt and taking names. That's probably not it, Nash. In D and D, I've killed like seven NPCs like that old man. Oh no. Maybe Damon gave up the test because he knows we'll just pass them all. That would be nice, though, but I think we should stay alert until we reach the top. Yeah, what Mia said, cat. Well, excuse me for thinking positive, Nash. Did you loot their pockets after mostly? Look at, look at this, it's a gold potato. What's this, big lump of clay? And what are we supposed to do with this exactly? You will sculpt the clay into an image of what you consider to be a priceless treasure. However, if your creation fails to impress me, you shan't be allowed to enter my private chamber. The slum's too big for us to sculpt it alone, so the five of us have to work together. Hey, what about me? Since we can't each make our own treasures, one of us will have to direct the others. I'm the resident brigand and the, tre and the treasure expert, so I think the choice is obvious. Unless someone has a problem with that. Jess? Yeah, I do. We all have to make this decision, Kyle. And you just have to- you, you just have us make something worthless anyway. Indeed he would. Whereas I live in vain, the most beautiful city in the world. I'm overflowing with unsurpassed artistic sensibility. Back off, Ego Angelo. The last thing I need is for you and Cal to have a narcissism duel. Mia, who, you, who do you think uh, should decide what to make? Well, since we have no idea what will impress Damon, I believe we should take turns guiding our sculpting efforts. I knew Mia was the smartest of, uh, of us all. Okay, Alex, who's going to be the first leader? Um, Damon wants you to mold the clay into a treasure. You can choose to have each character try, and I suggest you do as it's quite hilarious. So guess what we're gonna do? You go first, Kyle. Alex, as usual, you made the right decision, and I promise to enjoy bossing you all around. So what are we gonna create, boss? Don't keep us in suspense. <laughs> I won't spoil the surprise, but I can tell you it'll be a beautiful sight. This from a guy who uses the word beautiful to describe a beer with a good head of foam. I 
Alex, you have to make that part bigger and longer. Jess, what are you doing? I knew you'd be bad at this. Nash, that's too twisted. A little to the left, Mia. Come on, Nal, we're almost done. No time for a snack break. Uh, Kyle, I think you're gonna have to tell us what we just made. I'm too afraid to guess. Come on, Jess, it's a work of art. It's a vintage crowbar, or as we in the trade commonly call, a jimmy. Kyle, I've seen you do a lot of stupid things in your life, and I've just seen one more. Weren't you listening to me? This baby can get you in and out of more places than any other single device. Once a thief, always a thief, I suppose. I just thought you were different. But Jess, this thing really is a treasure. It can open, open even the most stubborn vaults. You have done well, but not well enough to impress me. But double your efforts and try again. Okay, Alex, who's going to be our leader this time? I mean, let's not go with Kyle. What do you think, Jessica? Would you mind being the leader? I won't disappoint you, Alex. My sculpture is going to leave David's jaw on the floor. What are you going to make? Something that's been important to me since I was a child, Mia. Uh, Jess, I don't think Damon will be wild, wowed by a sculpture of your teddy bear, do you? Zip it, pig boy. That looks good, Alex. Cal, you're sculpting clay, not stone. Be a little more gentle. Come on, Nash, you need to work well with others. Mia, could you help out now? No, you're working a little too slow. No man wants to keep me out. Say hello to the door maker, my F. Adamantine Great Axe. Hey Jess, don't tell me that's that's supposed to look like some kind of necklace. That's right. It's a necklace that my that my mother bought for me when I was a little girl. But necklaces are for cute girls. Don't you remember the time you told me how beautiful this necklace looked on me, Kyle? I remember when you used to give me compliments like that all the time. Ah, <sighs> Jess, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Sometimes I think you forget I even have feelings, Kyle. So I'm sorry, what else do you want? You have done well, but not well enough to impress me. Let's not pick Kyle. Let's not pick Jessica. Mia, what you got? Are you sure, Alex? I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry too much, Mia. You'll do just fine. Thank you, Nell. Well then, what should I make? Just make something that you really like, Mia. Something that you would consider a treasure. Alright. All right, I know what I want to make. Alex, make that prettier. Kyle, please try to be serious. Hold that part up, Jessica. Nash, I think you could be trying harder. Now, if you're tired, you can take a rest. Mia, what's this? It's Gorgon Ghidra! Isn't it just the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I love Little Gon. I had no idea you had such a fondness for monsters, Mia. You think I'm weird, don't you? But he's so cute! Look at his round body and his beady little eye. He just makes me melt. Don't you think he's cute, Jessica? Uh, um, he's certainly unique, don't you think so, Kyle? You really want to know what I think? If this thing were any uglier, it'd be my butt. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh. Next time you cover my mouth like that, Nash, I'm gonna gnaw your fingers off. There's no need for you to be so rude to me, Brigand. You're only gonna hurt her feelings. 
Stop it, you two. Don't fight in front of cute little Gon. Actually, that's not the answer. Not Kyle. Not Jessica. Not Mia. I guess Nash? What about you, Nash? You seem confident that Damon will be impressed by your treasure. He won't be the only one, Alex. I expect that all of you will be awestruck by it. It sounds exciting, Nash, but what is it? What, uh, what is it exactly? Just watch it take shape, Mia. I think you'll be especially surprised by my insight. Alex, that section needs to be much more detailed. Kyle, are you paying attention to anything I'm saying? You're doing it all wrong. You need to use a lighter touch than that, Jessica. That's perfect, Mia. No, perhaps you should let Mia do your part. Nash, is this... Yes, it's vain. There's nothing more important to me. The sculpture is excellent, but if you wish to impress me, you'll, you'll show me your real treasure. Real treasure? You're kinda cute when, you're du when you play dumb, Nash. <laughs> your real treasure's right here. What are you talking about? Come on, man, it's her! Mia Elsa, there's nothing more important to you than she is. I knew it! I knew Nash had a crush on Mia! You're wrong. Mia's my... my... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen such a deep shade of red. Come on, Nash. Say it with me. Mia is my treasure. La la la, I can't hear you. The youth of the Magic Guild, both bold and bright. This sculpture must be making me nost nostalgic for home, Nash. Why else would you be singing the Magic Guild school song? I don't know which one of these two is more clueless. The treasure you have made does not impress me. You must try again. <laughs> Haru, I... <laughs> God damn it. Incoming statue of Luna? Not Jessica. Not Mia. Not Nash. I guess I'll be the leader. I, I want to see what happens if I say no and let Null try. Like, will it let us uh, have, like, let Null try or, like, I don't know. We've been going in order so far, so I guess, uh, I guess it's Alex's turn. Well, perhaps I could try. Great, so what are you gonna... Of course. Leave it to me, Alex. Pay attention, Alex. I told you not to do it like that. Kyle, you suck. You used way too much clay there, Jessica. They're not that big. Oh, whoa. Nash, are you sure you don't want to take a break? Way to go, Mia. My, Zero, how did you guess? It's just beautiful, Alex. It really looks like the goddess. Of course it does. You had me to fix all of your mistakes. That is indeed a beautiful treasure. You have passed the final test. Alex, I was trying to make a statue of Luna, but everyone else thinks it's the goddess. Oh well. I guess I, I, guess I should accept that as a compliment. Or maybe we should accept that as a hint. You need 
need to explain why you have come. Here is the book you seek. And we got the Thieves' Guide. The Way of Thieves. Will you read us a few pages, Damon? Rule 1. Always be careful. Rule 2. Don't get caught. Rule 3. See Rules 1 and 2. What? I was reading that gonna help anyone be a thief. <clears throat> Alex, you are the one who seeks to become the Dragon Master, are you not? <laughs> Stole this from the old man. He really is bad at this. Thank you for the bits. Yes, I am. Yes, of course you are. You have the green eyes. What does that have to do with anything? I believe it will be in your best interest to read all the books in my spire. You must work diligently to absorb all the generations of knowledge amassed within them. I shall remove the magic seals that prevent them from being read for by those who have not impressed me. It is an honor to be allowed into your library, Lord Damon. Thank you, Nash, but you have earned your access to these tomes. Besides, knowledge is meaningless if it is not shared with others, even if that knowledge is difficult to accept. You will learn this to be true, Alex, and you must prepare yourself for it. You should return this book to the Thieves' Guild quickly, Alex. Your time is increasingly precious. How does he know all this stuff about us, Alex? I guess we could take a look, uh, look around these books here. Prophecies of David. The power of the dragons shall, uh, though the power of the dragons shall be lost, the hope of mankind will be found within the shining blue star. That's a very long book. The world shall shudder when magic meets metal, and many innocent people shall be injured and slain. And the lush green planet shall pe shall be as a mirage of days past. When at last the fate of the world shall hang in the balance as it rests on the love of a young boy and girl. Okay. Tiny angels with gossamer wings frolic around the shuddering spring. Okay. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. <laughs> it's closing time. History becomes legend and dreams become reality. These are very, like, very short and hyper-specific books. I've lived for a very long time, but there is much in the world I have yet to fully understand. But you're the keeper of the world's knowledge. How much is there left for you to learn? Rule 2 Friendly Fire only counts if you hit the healer. Fireball isn't the answer, it's the question. And the answer is what level do I cast it at? First rule of Wizard Club is always Fireball. Fireball fizzled. Oh no. Many things, child. So very many things. But especially about people. I finally isolated myself here because I found myself so very frustrated with human behavior. I'm with you there, pal. Rule 3. There is no friendly fire if you're the healer. Just extra work. Dragon Master Dine set into motion a series of events that would decide the fate of our world. But the fate will rest in the hands of Dine's successor. A young man with the power of love on his side. The evil which infected the blue star now rears its misshapen head in our serene, peaceful world. This evil would uh, delight in once in once again annihilating the children of Athena. The goddess has tried to destroy this great evil, but cannot. As long as humans hold darkness in their hearts, it will always survive. It has been said. The craft of uh, the craft which carried Alfina's children from the blue star to this world was a vast city. Vain, perhaps? Alfina's sword is the sacred blade entrusted to the Dragon Master by the hand of the goddess Alfina. It is symbolic of the Dragon Master, who stands as, as an ambassador for the people and fights to protect this world. 
The prophecies of Damon. A beast of towering steel crushes the land and leaves a trail of blood and terror in its wake. Yet the greatest terror of all still remains to be witnessed, as the people of this world will understand in the days which lie before them. A person with a kind heart can make the worst of mistakes with the best of intentions, but the same kindness is, ne is necessary to correct those mistakes. A pure heart shall be trapped in darkness and once abandoned and a once abandoned persona shall shake its core. Okay, I think we are done here. So, um, Jessica, if you please. See. You either return to Reza or walk all the way back through Myriad Woods and return the old notebook to the man in Myriad's bar in exchange for a paltry silver light. I mean, the fact is, we're probably going to be able to go back to Marriott anyway once we get the, um, the dragon wings back. Let's just go to Reza. Alright, so let's get back to the bar. Hopefully we don't need to get blind stinking drunk again. The only hit point that matters is the last one. <laughs> I heard you met Damon. That man is so ancient, he must be one giant wrinkle by now. I know he complains a lot, but, the, but he's worth the effort. Kyle, you passed. Congratulations, my friend, and also and welcome to the Thieves Guild. Here, take this. And get the Thieves Crust. The door behind the counter is the entrance to the, to the Thieves Bazaar. I think that's a good place to start looking for your item. And when you do, show your crest to whoever's selling it. So by the way, now that we have the Thieves' Crest, we can open those red chests. Of course, we probably still want to get the Dragon Wings before we get to doing that. So let's head over to the Thieves' Guild, where there is a missable item. Uh, let's see. I'll go south, exit southeast. And she has the thing. Say, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you friends of Grandpa's? My name is Lily. I'm Jessica. Lily, I know your Grandpa's told you this, but I'll tell you just in case. You really shouldn't be so trusting of strangers. My Grandpa worries about me, so I never get, uh, I never get to get out and have fun. It's a drag. I'm certain it's just because he cares about you. I made a lot of new friends today. I can't wait to tell my grandpa all about you. This kid has a sweet voice, Alex. She reminds me of Luna. Um... Okay, I think the, the trigger was just talk to her three times. We're not getting the thing now, which is weird that the game does it that way, but, you know, whatever. Uh...
Now we want to go this way. And welcome to the Thieves Bazaar. Well, how do you do, savvy shoppers? Have <laughs> I got a primo purchase for you, my friends? It's a thing with wings. I have no idea how to use them, but they're they have magic in them or something. Want to teach us some? Uh, Want to teach us how you uh, want us to teach you how to use them, pal? Uh, hey, you're the. See this crest? Recognize it? Yes, it's a thieves' guild crest. I know you know what that means, kiddo. But you weren't in the guild when I stole this from you. You gotta split hairs with Kyle of Nanza, huh? Not a wise decision. You're that Kyle? Well, spank my bottom and call me a pinky. I'm sorry, what? I just ripped off the king of all ripper offers. Here's your thing back and uh, here's a little something extra. No hard feelings, okay? We get soap. So we're back up to two soap here. <laughs> My reputation precedes me, Jess. Reputation? I think the word you want is notoriety. Okay. I mean, we've we've run into that situation many times throughout this game, but uh, we're about to um, probably spend the rest of the stream remedying that. It smells natural when you set it on fire. Why are you setting your wigs on fire? Dandruff, no problem. Headlights, yes indeed. I think your your um your magic wig is a little too realistic. Let's get a couple of acuity robes, a couple of crystal armlets. So we got one thing for Nash, one thing for Jessica, and two for Mia. Also get an acuity road. Uh, you get a crystal armlet, and so do you. If you don't find what you want, we'll steal it and sell it to you. All right. Um, Lily, why don't you come with me? I'm going to take us. I'm going to take us to a cool place. I don't know. My grandpa will be worried about me. No, he won't. I shall tell him where we're going. Now come on, let's have some fun. But another girl already asked me to play with her. That voice, it's Royce. Stranger danger. Wait, Lily, don't go anywhere with her. Or you'll never get to play again. Royce wants to take you to a scary place far away from here. Well, well. I knew there was a pack of puling pubescents in my future. I just didn't know when you'd show up. I can't believe you'd go you'd stoop so low as to kidnap a child, you sagging sack of dung. Now now, watch the language around the dear little girl, shall we? Hey witch, care to explain why you're kidnapping songstresses before I lop your head off? I'm afraid that's a secret, you muscle bound twit. Unless, of course, you care to come along with, uh, with Lily and me to the frontier. Come now, little girl, we have so much to do. Lily, what's going on? Grandpa, help me, Grandpa! This bad lady wants to take me out. Ah! Hmm. 
No, Alex, not again. Please excuse me, Alex. How could I leave without peering in? Oh, please excuse me, Alex. How could I leave without peering into your future? Your dreams of becoming the Dragon Master are extinguished, along with the Crimson Spirit. Oh, how I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> that fortune, Alex. Was she talking about the Red Dragon? That's the only crimson colored creature I can think of. If that's right, Galleon's going for the, dra for the Red Dragon next, so we have to find him first. None of you are going anywhere. Not until you tell me what the hell is happening around here. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. All we know for sure is that the, the Vile Tribe is kidnapping uh, songstresses. And that we haven't been able to stop them from doing it. That's why we need to find the Red Dragon before Galleon does. It might be able to help us. The Red Dragon? This cave is west of here, but you can't get there by land. However, I have a friend who knows how to get there another way. Follow me to the Thieves' Bazaar. So that ain't great. Apparently they're uh, not above just kidnapping even children that they consider to be songstress. Are, are they just trying to kidnap every woman everywhere? Is that what's going on? There's an impassable mountain pass between here and the Red Dragon Cave. Impassable by foot anyway. But I uh, acquired blueprints, uh, the design blueprints for a flying boat that would let you get that would let you fly over the mountains. Haven't been able to make a bit of sense out of them, but maybe they'll help you in your search for Lily. The fire needs an anti-magic aura on him. I mean, that might affect the three other magicians in my party. Take these to Eloch and talk to an inventor there. I think he'll be able to help you. Can you be any of less specific? There has to be more than one. So yeah, we're going to need to go to Eloch. But um, first things first. We have the dragon wings back. If I can find them. There we are. So now we can go to everywhere that there was a red chest and um, open them all up. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to start from the bottom. Well, actually, let's go to Marriott first. Because there's the dude that... Um, Oh, if you return to Reza before doing this, you can never trade the, the notebook back. I should have read that part. Server lights are great and all, but I like to have as many different items as possible in my inventory, even as, if it's a key item with no more use. Reusable and stackable silver light, or use this old no notebook and time not and time save not walking up all the way up to Marriott. Okay, so I guess we can't do that anymore. We'll be back here later, but I'm gonna go through this list in order. And the first one on this list is actually back in Reza. So right outside the bar to the east. Uh, to the east, uh, outside the bar, right here. And we get a silver light anyway, so, you know. Uh, now let's go back home to Berg. Stops all that silly teleporting. But we need the, sil the silly teleporting right now. Um, 
so is this Ramus's house? Yes. And if we go to Ramus's room and not get stuck on the geometry along the way, we get a stew pot lid. Wait, isn't that just like starter year? Yeah, almost a shield. Great, I'm glad we came back for that. I feel like that was the troll item. But at least it's uh, out of the way now. Let's go to safe. And it's inside the doghouse on the upper level. And here's a treasure, it's a protection ring. Uh, let's see. Who can we equip that on? Probably want the, the status elements for a player here. That uh, is defense up by 10. Yeah, we can give that to, to Mia here. Also him. We also have the Ice Pendant, which I guess Kyle can have. Alright, next stop is... Uh, actually, it's the Goto Woods. So we're going to need to just leave safe on foot here. Because we can only go to towns with uh, with the wings. So let's go to the woods once more. We need to travel east and take the first turn south, and right here. Not even worry about these guys. Okay, so I guess it's not gonna let us run away. I'm surprised that it's not like a level based if it lets you run away or not. It's like if you're like so many levels over the actual enemies, it just lets you get away for free. Alright, let's just slaughter these guys then. An antidote, that's not nothing. And we also get a Wrath Ring. Strength up by a lot, too. I think uh I think Kyle is basically meant to be the powerhouse here, so I'm gonna give it to him. Uh can we use the dragon wings here? No, we cannot. Alright, so the next one is going to be in uh, the witch's house. Within the old hag's forest. 
Now, I don't feel bad about robbing the old hag, considering that she eats cats, apparently. Oh, it just ran out of range. And Nash gets the winning blow. Hey Nash, remember this? Nash, huh? Nash? Anyway. The chest, chest should be in the basement. Sure enough. It is a silver light. Alright, Jess, take us out of here. Wasn't Silverlight the name of the, um, the thing that Microsoft made that was supposed to be a competitor to Flash, except that it just kind of failed miserably? Indeed, rip Flash. Although, you know, Flash might... Like, the development of Flash might be dead, but at the very least there is the Flashpoint project that aims to, like, um, preserve as many Flash applications as possible. And not only Flash, too. Like, they have Flash, they have Java games, they have uh, older Unity games when it wasn't, you know, uh, absolute pant load like it is now. Uh, they have PopCap plugin, they have uh, Shockwave, like they have everything. I don't know how they find it all. Anyway, let's go to Melodia. And y'all still uh, in need of a a bit of a designer interior here. And the designer exterior probably too. Okay, let's go downstairs. And then walk straight along the path until you reach the end. Reach the end. Ostensibly, uh, enter the red rooted house. This. That doesn't look right. Oh, it continues. Internet media at that time had a macro effect on the landscape, yeah. Sir, are you okay? Like, you, you still appear to need large amounts of medical assistance. The fact that you are still lying down here. Is this the place? This is probably not the place.
See, the, the guide says, enter the red rooted house. Red roofed house. I am a twit. Okay. Not this one, right? This doesn't look like a red roof. Yeah, no. This guy's not very good as far as, uh, determining which house this is. Now I'm gonna spend a whole lot more time on this one, cause like... Oh, maybe this one. That is definitely a red-roofed house. It's not much of the roof remaining. I'm sorry to trouble you in these, uh, in these difficult times, but it's not as though you were able to open this box anyway. So let me just take your life savings and be, be off to our next adventure. Uh, the Underground Waterway. Actually, that's also in Meridia. Alright, so on to uh, Mel's mansion. And I believe what we need to do is go through the, um, the training rounds. If you leave, uh, if you leave before I get back, this is me sending my regards. All right. Well, thanks for dropping by, J-Pop. We're we're gonna be done here as soon as we're done uh, opening all the red boxes. This uh, this might go a little over our usual time. The Lannisters also send their regards. Well, tell the Lannisters to go over the banister. Man, I used to be worried about these things. Yeah, Kyle's doing a crap load of damage now. Alex is holding his own too. Wait, what? Those two chests over there, I never got those? I remember getting those and then wiping, so I guess I, guess I never got those on the way back. Oh well. I get a silver light, which uh, definitely can come into play uh, later on. Alright, so we're gonna need to escape this place, I think, in order to um, be able to use the dragon wings. I'm 
not going to worry about the blue chests at this point. They probably don't contain anything particularly interesting. Um, and I had collected them before. I feel like I would have probably remembered if there was something good there. Then again, it's me, so maybe not. Um, Dragon Wings. Next, we're going to Vayne. I know what I'm on. I want it now. I want you. Because I'm Mr. Vayne. It's basically Nash's theme song. See, because he's, he's a student of Vayne and he's also very Vayne himself. Anyway. I think this is the door that goes to the uh, Cave of Trials. Sure isn't. This might take a second as I recall which one is there we go. Which this specific room for some reason has the uh, theme for Meridia. I thought it was there, but I guess it's not. Uh, let's see. Exit south, head east, and exit through the other door. Lots of dudes here. I'm sorry, Nash crit for 128? What happened? Where am I? What am I fighting for? Iris, please help me. She dead. Damn. Well, these might be easy fights, but they're also easy money. And considering that we're going to need 80,000 to uh, get everything that uh, Remus is selling. Thank you. Bam! And, Kyle, you need to work on your range. I mean, even Nash can get there. Go ahead, ease me as it through the other door. North and where the path splits, go east. And Nash levels up off this low-level mob. Alright. Hey, how did that dude get in that little corner there? Also, you might be thinking to yourselves, well, this is kind of an out-of-the-way place to go for, uh, for one of these red chests, right? But surely... The reward for this is going to be spectacular. Well, 
It's a fourth bar of soap. And at this point, we're actually over capacity for soap because, like, I although I did buy, like, when I replayed the game, I bought two bars of soap rather than one. You only need three, so we've gotten a fourth one at this point. Unfortunately, we can't really trade it in for anything, but, like, I guess we can sell it to, like, a shop or something for money, but I probably won't get a whole lot out of it. What we're gonna get out of it is when we find the other spring. Um, they're in the an extra to put in Kyle's mouth. Hey, uh, that's forward thinking. This is not the end of the cave I was expecting to, to get to. But you know what, this is fine. Uh, can we use the dragon wings here? I think so, because the transfer spring is one of the options. Yeah, uh, so now we want to go to land. And we want to walk up the stairs to the north part of town. And there it is. And it's another silver light. Uh, next, let's go to Nanza Barrier. And for good measure, let's tie the statue. And then we go to the south, the South Nanza Pass and exit to the south. Immediately get, get accosted by bugs. It is pretty satisfying to just clobber the crap out of everything, though. Got them both. They didn't even get a chance to act. One more fight. Duly dispatched. And for our efforts, we get an angel's tear. Always good to have those on hand. Oh, right, we're, we're not in town, you dingus. I'm just gonna drop by Reza in order to use the, um, the wings again. And uh, use the wings to get to Marriott. We're almost there. We got two chests left. And one of them is in Marriott and one of them is in the woods.
There's a silver light for us. And to the Marriott Forest. And this place is going to uh, actually be a threat to us again. It's not going to be as much of a threat as last time, but you know. We want to keep our uh, our guard up for this. Let's go ahead and use Ice Geyser and get rid of this guy. These nasty bee fly trines. Bam! Crit for 78. Whack! I mean, Mia, you're trying, my dear, but uh, you should probably stick to magic. Same goes to you, Nash. But at least you got a finishing blow. That's not nothing, I suppose. So we want to go southwest, and there's the chest there. We saw it. Curse bomb. Dead gum. Thank you. Thank you. That wasn't very effective, actually. It's just not a good a uh, good place for me to be in, just in general. But here's our chest and we get a fortune ring. Uh, does anyone still have an equipment slot left? You do. Here, you can have a fortune ring. And that was the last one. Let's get us out of here and... Uh, I'm gonna go back to Marriott and use the Dragon Wings to go back to Reza, and that's where we'll leave off. Because we're not gonna be able to get to our next destination from Marriott, because it's kind of cloistered away. So there we go. We have uh, got our feet into the Thieves Guild and uh, been around the world opening every locked chest that we could find. Now we can finally continue our journey forward to uh, Iluk and try to get a... Uh, try, try to find this game's Sid, I guess, and uh, see if we can reach the... Um, the red dragon before Galleon does. That's gonna have to wait 
until next time. So I want to thank you all so much for hanging out. Alex, Zero, Grim, J-Pop, Jewel, and Tyrion. <laughs> Thanks for soap. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned during the break, the next scheduled stream is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle. That's going to be on November 18th. Because I am going on break from November 11th to the 18th for Desert Bus for Hope. You can go to desertbus.org for more information. I might do a uh, non-scheduled stream on Friday. Um, just messing around in Final Fantasy XIV if I do. But yes, uh, there will not be a stream next Tuesday or this Sunday. I might skip next Sunday as well. Depends on how much energy I have left after Desert Bus uh, ends because like that stream would happen two hours after Desert Bus is all, like at least two hours. It could be three or four, but assuming that we go for about a full week. Anyway. So yeah, join me again on November 18th, or maybe Friday if I decide to stream then. But until the next time, thank y'all for hanging out. I'm cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>